Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Dr. Pepper Spare Ribs. So if you're a fan of pork ribs that are sweet but not overly sweet with little savory undertones that are buttery tender, then you're gonna love these Dr. Pepper Spare Ribs. We're gonna start out by giving them a good smoke so that they form some bark. Then we're gonna wrap them in foil, braise them in Dr. Pepper and butter until they're super tender and finish them off with a glaze of a Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. So what we're working with today are some Duroc pork spare ribs, St. Louis cut from Creekstone Farms. You can see these have beautiful marbling. You gotta remember the spare ribs are down by the belly, so this is practically like bacon ribs. Um, now these come already cut in the St. Louis style. There's not gonna be a lot of trimming to do, and we're not doing competition style or anything like that. So the only things I'm looking for or maybe if we got a bone at the end that might puncture our foil later, we're gonna take that off. Um, beyond that, we just need to get this membrane off the back of the ribs. See if I can just get a hold of the corner of it here with a paper towel. There we go. Got the thumb under there. We'll do our best to take this off all in one piece. Now we're ready to get these seasoned up. We're going to start with a Worcestershire binder with our W sauce here. So starting out a little bit savory already. Being that Dr. Pepper is kind of a Texas thing, we're going to use some Texas flavors today. We've got the Meat Church Texas Sugar that's going down first. It's the finer of the two seasonings we're going to use. So this is where we're going to get some of our sweetness. This along with the Dr. Pepper itself later on. And then with that sweet base layer down, we're going to hit it with the savory. We've got the Lone Star Texas Brisket Rub from Cattleman's. Also nice and chunky, going to help form a good bark. And we season bone side first because this is going to go meat side up or bone side down once it gets into the smoker. So now we don't have to do any more flipping or messing with the rubs. This does not have to be touched again. It can just go from here to the smoker. I get that sweet Texas sugar. And then the Lone Star. Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running our contest mix of pecan and cherry pellets and it's at 275 degrees. Pop these up on the top shelf, give them lots of room for that smoke to flow around. Our ribs have been on for about three and a half hours now, haven't been doing anything but just hanging out and letting them soak up that smoke. The bark looks nice, the color looks nice. We're ready to wrap these up and braise them. For the braise, we're gonna lay down four tablespoons of butter for each rack. We're going to flip these over meat side down. And then we're going to add our Dr. Pepper on top, so make sure you turn up the edges first. One cup of Dr. Pepper. Bring these together, wrap them up tight. Pork's just going to melt into that butter and the Dr. Pepper is gonna kind of move its way around and braise that meat until it's tender. We'll check on these in about 30 minutes. They're already feeling a little bit loose, so we're not gonna need a real long braise today. Now while the ribs are braising, we're gonna to put together our sauce, and it's just simply gonna be two cups of Dr. Pepper to one cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. Today we're using Firebug Mild. Chose this one, one just because it's a great barbecue sauce in general, but two because it's got this really great fruitiness. Uh, the blackberries, the blueberries that are in it, that I think will really complement the Dr. Pepper flavor. So now we just want to let that reduce down to a consistency uh, that will brush onto the ribs. Been another 45 minutes now. If you check this out, you can see all that movement. It tells me that these things, all the cartilage and all that stuff is broken down. So these should be super tender right now. You can also see that the bones are protruding and kind of exposed. If we twist it, the meat is twisting free from the bone. So these are nice and tender now. I'm gonna flip them over. We're gonna paint the top side with our glaze that's been reduced by about two thirds. So if we started with three cups of sauce, now we have one. Let's close up the lid and let this sauce tack up for a while. After about 20 more minutes in the smoker, these are looking beautiful. We'll be ready to slice into them here real quick. That's a pretty
pretty good looking rib. Got a nice bit of smoke around it. Still plenty of juice inside. And I like the way that that glaze is tacked up on top. That fatty end, like the end piece right there, all that fat running through it. Oh my gosh. Mm. I had to get a bite of that end piece first because it was looking so juicy. This is such a great combination of savory and sweet. You think with the amount of Dr. Pepper in there, maybe it's a little too sweet, but not the case whatsoever. That savory base of rubs, you know, I know we have the Texas sugar, but it's got a little savory to it. And then you've got the Tex or the Lone Star Texas brisket rub. Really well complements the sugar that you get out of the Dr. Pepper and the barbecue sauce. As far as the cook goes, it's bite through. It's not all falling off the bone, but you could pull it off the bone if you wanted to. That's just about right for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.